the most destructive to students' scores from my experience tutoring hundreds of students is the noise from low yield concepts. Many talk about the 80-20% rule where 80% of the questions come from 20% of the topics and I'm not exactly sure if it's 80-20 but I truly believe that there is a big chunk of questions that come from a selection of topics that are commonly tested over and over. I'm not saying don't study this 80% of the information that are not as commonly tested because you'll get few questions from that as well but you have to focus on the things that are more commonly tested because it's more likely to show on the exam so your weight of time distribution to the high yield and low yield concepts should not be equal and in my opinion students have the most difficulty in identifying these high yield concepts and touching back on the point that I mentioned people think oh I already know this question or I already know the information but I answered it wrong I think people overestimate that and think that it's a question solving strategy while in reality it's knowledge of very very important keys in in certain topics sometimes one word one word about the question that you might know everything about but one word might change the management or change the diagnosis so that's why for these high yield topics you need to know everything you need to know so many details so when you even see one word you can know that oh this actually changes the treatment plan so the illusion is that oh I already know heart failure I already know everything about heart failure but there is still something you did not know that changed the answer that's why identifying these high yield topics studying them extremely well knowing every single details about them you will see immediate improvement in your score and you will get to know what is high yield what is low yield from solving question banks you will know that this question is showing over and over this explanation it has been repeated three times so your mind should start looking for like okay this is probably important because it has been mentioned three times it's also included in first aid it's been tested on the world self-assessment or the mbme so you start seeing patterns of questions Thank you.